Hi, and welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, which, by the way, is our last episode of this series, mm-hmm. so we appreciate everyone who's come along all the way, but yeah. in this one, we're going to head into Madrid, ditch Pepe, and eventually we have to go home. We do. wake up in Toledo and the rain has passed which is good this is the whole reason we were there because it was supposed to rain every day but it only rained one day which was good and bad yeah but we headed out of Toledo and up the road to Madrid uh, and we stopped at the motorcycle shop where we're gonna have our bike repaired which is uh, Trimodo uh, and Javier the shop foreman I guess is there he's a great guy if you need work done in Madrid I would I would recommend them they they're, they're fantastic. And then 300 meters up the road is IMT Bike, where we have made arrangements to store Pepe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Pepe is going to be sitting in IMT Bike right beside Sella, who is Mike and Shelley's bike yeah. who, from <laughs> a previous episode. If you remember them, we're basically riding the exact same bikes around Europe. Yeah, so we, we got the bike into storage, packed up our stuff. And yeah, the nice thing is the train station was only, I don't know, 500 meter walk from IMT bike over to the train station and and all the ticket machines were broken. Yeah. We couldn't get a ticket and we didn't know what to do. So the train came, we just got on and we got into Madrid. When you get off the train, uh, there's a lot of cops standing there and there's a machine on this side of the gate that we- You have to have a ticket to get open the gate. Yeah, to get out. so yeah. we didn't get a free ride, but no. whatever, it was still, Cheap, yeah, the lady so. had to help us uh, figure out what we were supposed to do. So, right in the middle of Madrid, that's where it popped us out. And then, of course, you have to kind of get your bearings of where to go. Yeah, you walk out like a gopher and, yeah. and you don't know which is north and which is south yeah. and up and down. And Yeah. But. So, I was a little late booking Madrid oh, yeah. and it ended up being a weekend. Plus, we had just found out it's kind of a big weekend for them in Madrid because they have these sheep that come through. The sheep herders yeah. parade. So accommodation was very limited. Hostel was, I mean, as far as a place goes, it, you know, it was normal. It was a European. It was a great location, right? Oh, right in the middle of everything. Great location. Yeah. But the amenities were, <laughs> were lacking. Uh, I think there was this, I think this paper here on our book might have been thicker on the walls and we heard things. <laughs> That we should not be hearing. <laughs> yeah. My noise cancelling headphones, which I took, yeah. didn't work. Yeah, it was a bit of a noisy night. <laughs> <laughs> Nights. Yeah. But anyway, it was good. Great location. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's just whatever. It, yeah. it, it, it was yeah. kind of, we had to laugh. It served the purpose. We weren't there much. We were exploring, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're just cruising through somewhere in Madrid, downtown, and... And I couldn't believe it. I saw Tim Hortons. I haven't seen a Tim Hortons in two months. Man, I was off like a rocket. You were. It's like, wait, where are you going? And then I, I saw what you spotted and uh, yeah, let me go. It was okay. It wasn't like Timmy's at home, but... Yeah, they still serve more of their espressos, but yeah. they'll pick the drip coffee from Canada would fly but, over there. But their donuts are a work of art compared wow. to their home. Yeah, definitely the Timbits were... Uh, yeah. Our tin bits are kind of sad. These things are all <laughs> decorated and fancy, too fancy to eat. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a little, little higher class uh, tin bits. <laughs> Headed over to the the royal palace. And we did a tour there. We 
you're not allowed to take pictures in the royal palace except in the entryway. <laughs> I didn't actually realize that Spain had royalty. I didn't know they had a king and a queen. And I wonder how much and... I wonder how much they're involved in the you know, are they involved in the running of the country or are they just kind of yeah, figurehead? I don't know. know. If so, you know, yeah. let us know. Yeah, yeah, so I didn't I, it was a surprise. I didn't know that. So this royal palace is like almost a million and a half square feet. <laughs> So it's huge. Again, it's got opulence and yeah, overkill. It's got Holy. over 3,400 uh, rooms in it, which yeah. I can't imagine. But uh, more rooms in that than the people in my hometown. Yeah. So it, it was huge. It's actually, I think, the biggest in Western Europe. Like, actually, quite a bit bigger than Versailles and uh, bigger than Buckingham Palace. So. So, Carrie likes the palaces and the art. I like the tapas. Yeah, we found. We scored on the tapa place. It was like a huge tapas market. P Pike's market. Yeah. Right. Well, this is kind of like the Pike's market, but, all, but tapas. All tapas. Yeah. <laughs> there was oh, huge. I couldn't building. even tell you how many vendors in there, and yeah. mean, every kind of tapas. Yeah, everything you could want. Oh yeah. So we enjoyed and probably a lot you don't want, like raw fish stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we enjoyed that. That was, I think, our supper that night. We yeah. Just uh, wandered through and picked up whatever looked good. And, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of. I fun. think was that the day we had the lunch and we had the. Um, Oh, the maybe. octopus, or we've been having quite a bit of the squid octopus or whatever it was. Rings. The they, rings, yeah, like onion rings, Calam calamari yeah. rings, or whatever. And they've yeah. always been great, yeah. But this time they weren't quite cooked, yeah. <laughs> Nana, I did not I, like uh, the rubbery, no. raw. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able thing. to eat those nope. again. <laughs> they're off the list, they, <laughs> yeah. they're gone. <laughs> I should take a picture of oh, them. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we took a picture of me. <laughs> they had, I think they had, they had little hamburgers. Yeah, they had little hamburgers, little I love those little, little sliders, little I call sliders. them. They're yeah. great. Yeah, it was good. The next morning, Glenn woke up and says, I just want a regular breakfast of bacon and eggs. Because that's not the traditional breakfast. No, there you get a coffee, a okay. croissant, croissant, or a muffin. Yeah. or There was a little place just around the corner from where we were staying. Bacon, eggs, <laughs> pancakes, coffee. It was really good. So we, so we, enjoyed we may it. have eaten there more than once. Yeah, we may have went there the next morning too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did go there the next yeah, morning. Yeah, we yes. did. So, uh, so we just uh, kind of took it easy in, in Madrid. We wandered up to the big park. They have a big lake in there. They had like 
row clubs, I think, so they were out rowing. A big uh, memorial. to the Prado. We checked out some of the art there. They have a Mona Lisa there, uh, which I didn't realize there was more than one. It's actually a lot bigger than the one in the Louvre. <laughs> yeah. I remember, gosh, I remember when we stood in the line and we got in all that, at the Louvre, at the Louvre yeah. and you go see the Mona Lisa and it's like, where is it? I can't, oh, that, that little thing on the yeah, wall. Yeah, it's not very big. It's, it was, maybe this I mean, big. it was cool, but yeah. I don't know. I guess I was it's expecting not, something a yeah. little bigger. <laughs> so they think this one that they have uh, so the Prado is actually was being done at the same time as the real Mona Lisa. So one of Leonardo da Vinci's students was doing it at the same time. Oh. So it's of course an important one for uh, for Spain. It's been well. in Spain ever since the Prado opened in 1819. Uh, we went to the National Archaeological Museum. That was yep. that was interesting. We spent some time there. Well, maybe that's where you got in trouble for taking photos. No, you got in trouble because you had your backpack oh, on yeah. backwards. I had my backpack on my you back. Have to, you carried on the front. Crazy. Well, there's lots of stories about yes, the tourists is. knocking stuff over with their backpacks. So. Yeah, and just so you know, a lot of those places, if you got your little selfie stick, you ain't gonna. Oh eat, no, oh, no, no, not there. No, nowhere in there no. because because everything isn't necessarily behind. Nope. Um, no, there's a lot of stuff you can walk right up to. And, yeah, so you, you know. can easily bump stuff. So yeah, and I certainly wouldn't want to be responsible oh my for gosh. that. They had a really good Egyptian um, section in that museum, so that yeah. was fun. Now, what happened was the sheep herders were coming in that morning. So we asked at the one square what time. And then we went to the museum, and I really wanted to see the Egyptian part. She wanted to see the musician. She wanted to see everything. Yeah. Well. Well, and I say, oh, just 15 more minutes will be okay. So we ran through the Egyptian part. Assuming that the sheep were going to be on time. Yeah. And by the time we got back, we just saw the what was left of yeah. the sheep. Yeah. AKA <laughs> sheep droppings yeah. everywhere. But again, the street yep. sweepers, right? As soon as the sheep had passed they were out with their sweepers yeah. they were cleaning it all up they were hosing it down and yeah so she was a fragment mile and a half of yeah. street in town but they had some of the parade the people that yeah. were going to do this the herders and yeah we missed the sheep per se so i think yeah. you got a, a online photo of what yeah. it would have looked like but yeah. we know they were through i mean some like uh, i don't know ten thousand sheep or yeah, something comes lot. through they, they they come in from the mountains and they herd them through and there's sort of a ceremonial where they go to city hall they pay to, to pay yeah. the mayor some money for grazing rights and then they would yeah. have carried on south it you know in, yeah. in history but it's sort of a ceremonial thing but yeah, yeah so it's quite the thing anyways i wonder if they use dogs uh, i don't know But I, I mean, there was so many people oh, there right. that basically Lord. the people made the... <laughs> yeah, they didn't need a fence. The sheep wouldn't get out because no. it was just packed. It yeah. was wall to wall. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. There's a few 
at this obscura um, things in Madrid, so we spent some time just kind of walking around, locating those. We had to get up early because we, our flight home was out of Milan, so we had to, we hopped on a Ryanair flight from Madrid. Madrid to, to Milan. Milan. And then a night over. And, and then, yeah, then we were gonna, last time we did that, when we left from the Italy trip, we stayed at the airport, but it was, prices had skyrocketed. Yeah, it got very expensive, so we hiked, I don't know, a couple kilometers. Side of the highway. Yeah, and... we didn't quite know what we were getting into. There's supposed to be a bus to Found pick a great, up, but we could Found a great restaurant it. that night. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that was that was a good restaurant. I had a good little Airbnb, had a good yeah. rest, and then we just hopped the plane yeah. back yeah, home. And here we are, so. Yeah. So anyway, that was, that's our, our all our episodes for our Spanish tour and, mm -hmm. and we appreciate everybody watching along and we appreciate you putting up with our learning curve. We've never done this. We had to learn how to yes. use video editing software and we had to learn that we held our cameras wrong and so all well, that's why everything's yeah. this way and not this way and we appreciate that uh, you know yeah that's not the most awesome way but whatever it is what it is. So we do have a Morocco trip yes. planned for the spring of 2024 yeah and we will do a series on that when we get back from that and hope we'll have the cameras right yeah yeah uh, we also have plans uh, we do have a couple other trips that we had spent in Europe that we kept travel through about 12 or 13 different countries so we we eventually will get some stuff yeah. working on that. Maybe Italy the next one. Probably Italy. We'll do the Italy yeah. tour and then we'll go back to the Eastern European tour mm -hmm. and yeah. we'll do a prequel. We'll do a prequel. Just like Star Wars. That's right. <laughs> Stay tuned for the prequel. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Dun -da -da -da. So anyway, thanks for coming along and uh, we do appreciate it and uh, we'll see you in the next series. Thank you. Ciao. <laughs>